Welcome to the Clinic de Medici by Zirkanzan, our new education center, where dentists and dental technicians can learn our digital workflow by treating real patient cases. Working with Zirkanzan's digital workflow, the dentist starts with the analysis of the patient and the acquisition of impressions by intraoral scanner. Following the recording protocol, the doctor digitizes the two arches. Together with intraoral scans, he also registers a fork necessary for the acquisition of mandibular movements. The doctor continues with the digitization of the patient's face, using the Face Hunter 3D facial scanner. To facilitate the dental technician's work, during the assembly process in the articulator, the doctor marks some reference points directly on the patient's face. The midline, to position the face correctly in the articulator. The right and left allotragus line, to find the functional plane. And finally, the orbital point, to find perpendicularly the masticatory center and the articulator center. The face hunter is properly distanced from the patient before starting with complete acquisition of the face in neutral expression. At this stage, a frontal scan, a 45-degree right lateral scan, and a 45-degree left lateral scan are performed. Then the dentist takes scans of secondary views, with smiling, open-mouthed and possibly phonetic expressions. A system called Transfer Fork is used to relate digital models to the patient's face. After the first phase of facial scans, the dentist uses the plane finder to detect the natural head position in the natural plane. He asks the patient to stand in front of the plane finder for the final adjustments before acquiring the scans. Several recordings are made in an order to verify that the natural head position is always kept, the dentist marks a guideline on the patient's face, at the level of the bar parallel to plane zero. The patient positions herself at a distance of about 70 centimeters from the face hunter and looks into her eyes in the mirror. In this way, she will spontaneously adopt her natural position. At this point, the dentist proceeds with the scans. Between the scans, the patient moves away from the plane finder and gets back in front of it. This operation is repeated for a minimum of three times. It is very important that the patient puts her fingers on the side buttons of the plane finder in order to find balance easily and avoid movements that could compromise the scan results. At this point, the registration process of patient data is completed. The doctor collects all the data acquired and delivers them to us dental technicians. In the laboratory, we take care of the organization of all data. Using Zirkanzan's software package, we prepare the basis for the digital design of the restoration. We import all the patient's digital data in the scanning software and match them.
After positioning the models and transfer fork we concentrate on the creation of a unified face. Following an orderly protocol, we perform a basic face scan, a complete face consisting of three scans. Forehead, right and left. This will act as an anchor for the secondary scans. The scans are all different from each other, that's why, in order to be able to relate them, and for the software to easily recognize the surfaces, we use as reference points areas that are not very mobile, such as the ossified part of the nose, and the lateral part of the high forehead. We save the different scans one by one until we finish them. Once all available data is combined, we are able to correctly position the patient in the PS1 virtual articulator. Then we proceed with the design of the virtual prototype in the Zircon modifier software. In this case, we design a bite splint. Following the design protocol, indicated on the left-hand side of the window, we create the limit margin in order to obtain the bite surface that can be molded. In the modifier, thanks to the advanced management of the virtual articulator, we can import in the software the actual jaw movements registered with the plane analyzer. In this way, we can individualize the articulator and simulate perfectly the natural movements of the patient, which will permit us to functionalize the virtual prototype at best. Following the wizard step by step, we get to the final design phase, ready to start the milling process. In the Zircon nesting software, we place the virtual restoration in a material blank and start the milling. As a material, we use Therapon Transpa, which is ideal for making bite splints and surgical guides, and then we mill the prototype in the M1 wet heavy metal milling unit. Once the milling is completed, we separate the restoration from the blank. We perform the manual finishing with tungsten carbide burrs and proceed with the final polishing. To protect the restoration and deliver it in a personalized manner to the client and the patient, we insert it into a Zircon box. The dental technician, proud of the work done, delivers the Zircon box to the doctor, who proceeds with the fitting in the patient's mouth and with the final direct adjustments. <laughs>